Are bras actually necessary? Or really just a scam? It can be painful to go braless for busty women. It's also sometimes an entirely aesthetic thing. They sort of shape and stabilize the whole chest region in addition to providing support. I would hate to go braless. I don't even wear regular bras. I just wear sports bras. It just feels the most comfortable for me. Everyone's comfort is different. Some people prefer bras. Some prefer braless. 1. Just please don't go to Victoria's Secret. Those are not good bras and the fitters there will absolutely lie to you to sell you their bra. Instead of one that fits. 2. No. Bras are not necessary they are 100% a cultural thing. The only research I've been able to find about SAG showed that if anything wearing bras contributed to droopy breasts. However far less important than pregnancy and smoking. 3. I'm 34F. I'm not very comfy working out or climbing stairs without a bra. But maybe I could get used to it. More annoyingly, I have long nipples and the culture I live in and work in reads them as sexual excitement. I need to either wear little silicon nipple pasties under a plain bra or a soft molded cup or most. Often a compression bra to work. That sucks. But it decreases how often my chest gets stared at. 4. When my daughter started to develop. I poured a big glass of wine for me and sat with her for a long Google image search about breasts and bras. We looked at trainers and soft cups and sports bras and nursing bras. We talked about how body shape goal has been very different from Elizabethan flat corsets to pin-up, push-up bras and Madonna and we googled the images from Victoria's Secret runways to breast minimizers. We talked about how in some places and times humans go without a bra under the shirt or topless. We talked about mastectomy and augmentation. The message is that whatever shape she wants to make, there's a bra for that. Depends on the women. Some need them to help with back pain. Kinda depends on what you mean by necessary. Because they're like objectively not no matter how big they just make it easier. My chest is pretty small and I'll often just wear a hoodie instead but if I'm just wearing a t-shirt. You can tell so I tend to wear one. Even when I go up the stairs too fast without one it kinda hurts. I imagine if you have a huge chest it would be way worse. Larger chested women typically need some support. Especially when exercising. I personally don't like the outline of my nipples showing. And I feel I'll look better when my boobs are where the people who design clothes expect them to be. Which is why I wear a bra. But if you're dressing appropriately for whatever you're doing and not having issues. Go for it. What do you have to look forward to at the end of the day if not taking bra off? For me, it would hurt. They're just too heavy so on days when I do go braless all day. They're kind of sore by bedtime. Depends on the comfort of the person in question. Some people like them for coverage. For some it's for back pain and comfort during exercise or simply moving around. If you have a smaller chest and you're comfortable without the coverage then have it it. Mine aren't huge. But without anything holding them a little in place they just flop all over. Not only does it make me feel clumsy and awkward. It's sometimes physically uncomfortable and sometimes even painful. And that's in addition to the chafing. I have zero reasons to not wear any kind of support. As a woman how is a 3-4 DD? It is a necessary evil. Personally I prefer to wear either a set of stays or a corset. Reason. Because I have back problems and the corset and stays help to not just keep those girls from jiggling around too much, but also act as a back brace. So, it all depends on your back, the breast size, your confidence level, and what makes you feel better. A fake if you're comfortable without one. There's no medical reason that you'd need to or benefit from wearing one. 
In fact I think there have been studies that show the opposite. But I can't recall specifics off the top of my head. It's mostly just aesthetics and societal expectations. Which are really just dumb. Not everyone of course but people who genuinely don't need them could. If your boobs don't hurt you bad. Usually don't though through your clothes and you don't go running a lot. Most people would be fine. However. If someone run a lot it might hurt or they don't want men looking at their boobs. Some people like more reveling clothing where a bra may be necessary to hold them in place. For a smaller chest, you probably don't need them. It's women with uncomfortably large chests that benefit most from bras. And yet it's hardest to get one the bigger your chest is. Real counterproductive. If you're an AB or maybe even AC you might not experience sagging with lack of a bra. But D and over most definitely will. They're not necessary if you have small boobs. But bigger ones they're typically needed. I mean people can do what they want I've met women with DDs who go braless often. And what not. I mean the expensive VS bras are a scam. All mine are from Walmart and suit me fine. But yeah if you got small boobs of course you won't find them as necessary tears of joy I mean that in a joshing way. But seriously yeah. I have friends who are small chested that go braless a lot and I can't tell the difference unless it's cold and thier nips show through. But they're like covers you can get for those. So for you personally they're probably more of a scam. But for me they're necessary. They technically aren't necessary. As in you'll live just fun without them. However. The main reason they exist is to keep breasts from bouncing around, getting in the way while you try to get SHT done. Ever try to run braless with anything bigger than an A cup? It's downright uncomfortable and can even hurt. Likewise, bras help fight gravity and reduce sagging. Look at the specific tribal cultures that don't wear bras. Even the young women often have noticeably sagging breasts. Nothing wrong with that of course. But most women prefer wearing bras for a reason. Of course. The type of bra is a huge factor there. And some are way more comfy than others. It's all about your preferences. If you don't want to wear one. Don't. Short answer. No. A bra is not necessary in any way. From my understanding. Studies have shown that not wearing a bra increases long-term stability and helps avoid gravity for women who are not overly endowed. Personally, I choose to wear a bra in public because I don't like people staring at me and visible nipples bring way too much attention for my taste. But the moment I get home, the first thing off is the shoes and the bra is gone before I leave the entryway. Truly. It is up to you and what you are comfortable with. Some of us are sagging to their knees before they leave high school. Some continue to defy gravity over 40. No one way is better than another. It's your body. Your choice. Do what makes you happy. If you don't wear one, won't your nipples be visible? You're young. Gravity and time are a cruel mistress that no one escapes. Except maybe Keanu Reeves. Expensive bras are a scam. Needing a bra isn't. You need a good fit and decent materials. If you re anything larger than a B cup you will probably feel less bouncy with one. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like share, and subscribe.